Welcome to Hangar 8, Vlog 1. Hello everyone, welcome to my Vlog number 1. Uh, as planned, I'm going to talk to you about the plane I get to fly, which is based in legendary Flying Bulls Hangar 8 which is some kind of secret hunger from the Flying Bulls and uh, I invited a friend of mine, Marcel Stenner from Brazil. Hi Dario. Hi Marcel, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, thanks. I have 10 questions to ask you about the plane. So let's go for this. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. So I would love that the seat was tailor-made for me, but it is not. It's a, it's a standard... Uh, Seat from the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. The manufacturer is Leaf Aeronautics from Guthrie, a city nearby Oklahoma in the US. And it's a full carbon fiber seat. It's covered with a foam that actually this one I chose myself because it's the one I prefer. And uh, you can tailor -made it, make it, but uh, it's, yeah. it's not. Uh, what you have here is different positions. So you can make yes. it higher and you can recline it more. So as long as you fit in, then you can, you can, you can fix it as you like. Well, the steering wheel here is actually a stick and we cannot, we cannot at all move it. It has to be there. But yeah. what we can do, and in this plane is, uh, is quite unique, you can move the pedals. And in this plane uh -huh. is an electrical uh, uh, motor that makes that for you. So you can really be picky on that and, and do exactly what you like. And yeah, more or less you can fit uh, most, of the, most of the time you can fit quite well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good question. No, the plane has no heating system and no aircon. So we have to suffer in winter for the cold weather, especially here in Austria. Mm -hmm. And in summer, actually, we have a couple of air vents. You can see them on the, on the, on the canopy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it gives you a little bit of air, fresher, but uh, not that much, not as much as you would like. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I do in the winter, I fly with a bandana. And in, uh, in summer, we have uh, uh, very thin underwear, uh, fireproof underwear. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's called like this, you know the, the whole suit? Special meaning for you. Yeah, I mean all the stickers have a meaning. Uh, some of them are just fun and, and, uh, and nice, but every sticker has a story behind. Uh, the one that I, I think has the most important story is the Mamma Mia. Yes. The one you can see yeah. here. Yeah. That's that's actually an exclamation that you say in Italian usually and um, and that's what exactly went through my mind the, th the first time I flew a Zivco Edge 540. So this type of plane, not this one exactly, but the same type of plane. That was, that was, that was fixed in my brain for like a few days and I, could, I couldn't really get rid of it. So it's like a, it's like a wow image. Mm -hmm. so that's my favorite sticker. So the plane is very noisy. It's a really race. It's a real race machine. It's, it's, it's sick. It's like mm -hmm. it's like the most rugged machine that you can get on this on this one. And uh, unfortunately, the, the, the bad thing of that is that the plane is very noisy. The whole noise from the engine uh, coming out from from the propeller, of course, moving the air at a very high RPM, and the size of it, and and uh, everything that concerns the the moving parts inside the cockpit. There is not much, but still, is still. So it's really it's still noisy. Still. It's a very noisy plane. I see. It's a crazy noisy plane. Oh, I love this question. I always tell everybody that this plane is a Ducati. A I mean, Ducati. if, it, if wow. it was a motorbike, this plane was a Ducati. Same, same construction. So it has a steel tube frame yeah. covered with a, with a composite and carbon fiber. So the, the fuselage is steel tube frame and the rest is, uh, is composite and carbon fiber. It's just a Ducati, and it fits perfectly me. The plane has no flaps. We have uh, what was the space that was supposed to be used on a normal plane, normal category plane for the flaps, is used for ailerons. So the, the ailerons are, Huge. are extraordinary from a size point of view. So are extra large. Yeah, you so, can see you can see the moving part is incredibly big compared to the whole size of the wing. You can see it's it's more or less thirty percent of the wing area. Yeah, smoke system very simple. I have a switch in the cockpit. I switch it on, 
and smoke oil from the smoke oil tank, which is on the wing, in the wing, is sent directly to the exhaust, the final part. And this, what, is com what comes out is just smoke, white smoke. No. It's 9,000 cubic centimeter displacement engine. Uh, it's more or less a Dodge Viper. Captain, the wings for the fuel. We have three fuel tanks in this plane one per wing and one in the middle, which is the aqua tank, called aqua tank, which we use for racing and uh, aerobatics and start flying, while the one in the wings is just for ferry flying. So just for straight to the normal flight. It's a very cool design made by Straight Line Art, uh, a friend of mine, a great designer. He did this to represent Italian aviation. So half of the plane is an edge, it's basically this plane, you can notice the same yeah. shape, uh, and the other half is Leonardo da Vinci only Totoro. This is my Hamilton watch, I fall in love from the first time I saw it. You remove it from your wrist and you place it on your instrument panel. And since on the left arm I have long gloves, and I'm using it for the throttle, will be very, very uh, comfortable to, to keep an eye on my clock, on my watch, on the time, on a chrono, whatever I need for the fuel management or for just for my, my, my practice session. So in this way, I always have the time in front of me. It's an amazing idea. Perfect.